This tutorial will show you how to run the program Fast Structure for population genetic analysis on a computer running Ubuntu Linux version 20.04 operating system. If you do not currently have a computer running Linux, you can make one by installing the software VirtualBox on your computer. VirtualBox works for Windows or Mac computers, and within VirtualBox, you can create a virtual machine running Ubuntu Linux. All of this is free. There's a link below showing you how to do that, although it lies outside the scope of this tutorial. In fact, I am running Ubuntu Linux right now within VirtualBox on my Mac computer. I have three different tabs open here for three different websites where we're going to be using snippets of code to install fast structure. The links to these websites are found below. First, we need to install curl. We're going to open up a terminal. We're going to search for the terminal by clicking here. Next, we're going to type in this update command. It's asking for my password. Next, we will install curl. After installing curl, we need to install Python 2, which does not come as is with Ubuntu Linux version 20.04. First, we're going to check that the universe repository is a part of our system. And it is, so that's good. We don't need to run update because we already did. We're just going to skip right here to installing Python 2. I'm going to click Y, hit enter. Next, we need to install a program called PIP. So we're going to use this curl command here. And then we're going to run this command here. All right, now with Python 2 and pip installed, We can move on to this link, which includes some specific instructions for installing Fast Structure on Linux. We will install the required modules. 
To save some time, I'm going to highlight all three of these lines of code at once. That last line of code that I highlighted was not run yet because you need to hit the Enter key. So I'm going to hit Enter to run that last line of code. The next thing I'm going to do is create a directory called bin for installing new programs. I'm going to check the directory that I'm currently in with the pwd command. Sample is my username on this Ubuntu Linux. I call Instead of using my initials or something like that, I used samples because I created this instance of Ubuntu Linux for the purposes of this tutorial. In your case, you'll see whatever your username is here instead. Uh, you should be in this directory, though, home slash whatever your username is. If you're not in that directory, you should type in cd home. Whatever your username is, in my case, sample. Next, we're going to create a directory called bin. And we're going to go into that directory. Now we will run these three lines of code. That third line will not be run until at the very end I hit enter again. So there's that third line of code that was not yet run. So I will hit enter again. Next, skip this line of code here. We're going to take this line of code here and modify it. So copy that line of code, search for text editor, open it, paste in that line of code. We're going to go to the GSL directory on our computer. On my computer, it's my home, notice not plural, so I'm taking out that S, and then my username, which in my case is sample, I'm going into that bin directory, and the, we, the directory we just created is not called GSL, but it's called GSL-1.9. So those are the modifications that I need to make. Now I will take that snippet of code, copy it, and run it in the terminal. All right. Now I will run these three lines of code. This will take approximately four to five minutes. So I will paste them in here. To recap what I just did, I ran these three lines of code together. I copied them, I pasted them in here and hit enter. As usual, the third line that I pasted in was not yet run because I need to hit the enter key for it. But it goes very fast.
Next, we need to add some instructions to our bash RC file. The template we will use comes from the uh, instructions on that website for installing fast structure. So I'll copy out those lines of text. Open up what I call the finder, where your files are located. With your finder open and selected, type Control H. Make sure that you're in the home directory. Now we can see the hidden files in the home directory. Double click on this file bash rc. Scroll to the very bottom. Be careful as on my computer it's not showing the very bottom line of code very well. You don't want to delete everything. So in my case the bash rc file ends at line 117. So I'm skipping ahead to line 119. Now I'm pasting in those snippets that we got from the fast structure instructions. But we need to change them. The first thing we need to do to have it match the path structure on my machine is take out the S in homes and make it singular. So on all three lines of code, we need to change that to home instead of homes to have it match uh, my setup. Next, we have to change this username. This is the username of the person who wrote those instructions. In my case, the username for my machine is sample. But in your case, it would be whatever username you set up your Ubuntu Linux with. So in all three of these lines, I am changing it to sample. Next, the way we have it set up, instead of a directory called GSL, we have a directory called GSL-1.9. So on all three lines of code, I will add that dash 1.9. No spaces between GSL and dash 1.9. Now I will hit save and I can close this bash RC file. We need to close terminal completely and reopen it so that it refreshes and uses the new bash RC settings. We need to go back into our bin folder. So in my case, to get there, I go but in your case, you would replace sample with whatever your username is on your Ubuntu machine. Now within bin, I'm going to create a directory called fast structure. I am doing it where I'm writing the whole world word lowercase except for a capital S. This matches the way that the authors of the program Fast Structure write it, and so it just keeps everything consistent. So now I will go into that new directory that I created. Note the uppercase S in the middle of the word. We have to add a line of code to more fully install um, the, our settings for Python 2 globally. So this is a line of code I found somewhere online, and I, I lost track of where. So you'll just have to type this along with me. Pseudo. There is no space in between apt and get. There is no space in between Python and dev. 
asks for my password. It's asking me if I want to continue. I'm hitting Y and hitting Enter. Now we need to close our terminal window and reopen it to make sure that these new global settings are in effect within our terminal window. Reopening terminal fresh. I need to go back into that fast structure, fast structure directory that I created. Now we go back to the instructions for installing fast structure. Skip this line of code here. Highlight these lines of code. Copy them. Paste. As usual, the, the, the last line of code that we copied and pasted was not run yet because we have to hit enter on it. So be sure to do that. Oh. And now, with any luck, we should have fast structure installed. So let's try it to see if it's installed. And there it is. You have successfully installed Fast Structure on this Ubuntu Linux machine.